guest today is LA-based, award-winning indie filmmaker and actor, Anu Gunn. Now, Anu's been involved in over 200 indie film projects and has an impressive list of credits. Some of these include, he was director of photography for A.R. Rahman, Oscar, Grammy and BAFTA award-winning composer for Slumdog Millionaire, as well as 127 Hours. Anu shot and directed a significant part of A.R. Rahman's recent Jai Ho World Tour. Anu has also been in front of the camera as an actor. He was lead in Sid's Paralysis, which was directed by Baba Ahmed, whose last film was distributed by Lionsgate, and one of the leads in Hollywood Whores by two-time Academy Award shortlisted and AFI award-winning director Adam Schlachter. Anu also starred alongside the late David Carradine in The Trident. So Anu, you haven't always been in the film industry. I went to music school first and then for some reason or another I got burned out. And then I started physiology and neuroscience. So I beg your pardon? <laughs> Physiology and Neuroscience, it was a pre-med major, and I saw Life is Beautiful. It was a life-changing film for me. Uh, There's no stars, no budget, it looked very small compared to a blockbuster movie, but it changed my life. I wanted to become a filmmaker. Fascinating. What are some of the challenges that you face in making a career out of film? Doing anything in the arts, it's really tough, especially in America compared to Europe where there's a lot more funding for it. Exposure is it's a huge factor. Like, I mean, we had all these credits for Trident, but it still, we didn't get the amount of exposure we needed. So a site like Mover really helps give it legs. With all these huge social media sites, none of them really cater to filmmakers and film buffs coming together. So when I first heard about Mover.com, I just went out there and started filling my galleries up with obscure films that I would tell my friends to watch because they'd never heard of it. And I even got some of my own films in the gallery. You haven't been on Mover.com that long and already your film gallery is number two. Are there some gems that you'd like to share with the, with the Mover community for their enjoyment? Yeah. I used to work for a film festival and so I scoured other festivals looking for films. I saw 34 films in a week and seven in one day. <laughs> seven in one day? There must have been a lot of popcorn and caffeine consumed. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, one of the movies I saw was Shadow Magic, which was by a first time filmmaker. It's about the turn of the century. 18 to 1900s, introducing cinema to China. And it was beautifully shot, 35 millimeter, but no one's ever heard of it. Great, thank you. I'll make a note of that, put into my wonder watch list right away. And Absolutely. another gem? Um, hot coffee. Most documentaries enlighten you to something you don't know, but hot coffee shows you how much you thought you knew, but you were completely wrong because of the lady spilling hot coffee at McDonald's and the whole three million dollar lawsuit. It really opens up your eyes and lets you see another side of it that you've never heard. That's probably one of the most expensive cups of coffee ever served in history. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Well now Anu, thanks for sharing part of your career, um, some of your tastes, some of the projects you're working on. How can fans and other buffs reach out to you in the real world? Well I'm all over the, the social media sites, Twitter, Facebook and all that, but it's all linked through my website, anugun.com. That's A-N-U-G-U-N-N.com. And you, thank you so much for your time. I look forward to spending a lot more of it in the future in the Mover.com community. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me and thank you for bringing that Mover to us. <laughs> a pleasure and we hope you enjoy 